Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to our quotation tutorial in the Getting Started with Measure Square 8 series. In this video, we will cover creating a quotation, entering customer and job site info, adjusting tax rate, saving instructions or terms and conditions, and modifying the output of the quotation and printing. To begin, let's open a project that has been estimated and then go to the worksheet tab in the top left. Click the new button. In the new worksheet pop-up, we can choose the worksheet type as proposal, name our proposal, and select the proposal style as by product. Click OK. On the right-hand side of the worksheet, we can expand the properties of the form and enter in a bill to address and a ship to address. To hide a particular column of info from the proposal, right-click on the column name and select Hide. To permanently adjust the columns to be displayed, right-click on the column title and choose Select Columns. In this view, we can select which columns we would like to display by checking or unchecking the box next to the column name. In our case, we will deselect Cost Amount, Markup, and a few others. Left-click the Save for Future Proposals checkbox to save these choices, and then click OK. To adjust the order of the columns, hold down the left mouse button while over the title of a column, and drag to a new location. To merge items together, left-click to highlight the item blue. Hold down Control on your keyboard, and then select the additional items by left-clicking them as well. Then select the Merge button. To adjust the tax rate setting for a quotation, left-click where it says Tax Rate in blue, and then click the Add New button in the top left of the pop-up, type in the new tax rate, enter in the tax name, and click OK. Click the Tax Name drop-down to select the appropriate tax rate for the form. Next, we can type in instructions for our quotation and proposal if needed. We can also click on the drop-down arrow above the instruction field to create new instructions to be saved for later use. Click where it says Manage List. Type in the terms and conditions or instructions you would like to keep and click OK. We can then access the instructions via the drop-down arrow, saving us time for our future quotes. To group items, right-click on any column and select Group. This will break down the product into different product groups, such as carpet, vinyl, add-ons, and so on. To print the worksheet as shown by group, go up to the top center and select Print. To view a streamlined quote, we can right-click on a column name and select Export Group Result. Make sure Trade is selected, and then click OK. We can then click Print to print out a streamlined quotation as shown here. 